Okay, so now I'd like to demonstrate adding or enrolling an extra K985 MCW motion detector. Before I begin programming, I'd just like to lay everything out in the order that's been programmed from the factory. Zone 1 is the front door. Zone 2 has been set up as the back door. Zone 3 has been labeled as the hallway motion detector. We're going to be enrolling our new motion detector at Zone 4. So before we get started in programming, let's set it up. There'll be a battery we need to install. This screw pack for mounting. Put that off to the side. To open the motion detector, you'll find a Phillips head screw on one side. We'll go ahead and remove that. Being careful not to lose the screw. Then we'll open the cover. There's a locking tab, so that way may loosen it and remove the board. Just apply slight pressure and the top comes out. And we will be able to see the battery bucket on the back here. Just make sure that you put the positive post of the battery on the positive side of the battery holder. Clearly indicated with a plus sign on one side. Once we have our battery installed, we can slip it back into the case making sure we set the bottom of the circuit board into the mounting tabs here at the bottom first. And then with slight pressure at the top, we lock it back into place. Now that we've got power to our motion detector, we'll go ahead and put the cover back on and re-secure it using the Phillips head screw. Okay, and then what we'll do is place this unit back into the box that was provided until it's time to transmit. So I'll set this off back down. Now before I begin programming, if you have any other additional motion detectors used in the home or on your table, you're going to want to cover the one that the factory has enrolled by covering it with a piece of paper, cardboard, a towel, a hat, anything, just to keep it from sending a signal at the wrong time. So now I'm ready to enter the programming mode, so I'll hit next until I see installer's mode on display, and then hit OK. Please enter code. The factory installer's code is 9999, and I'll be hitting next until I see enrolling. Once I see enrolling, I'll hit the OK button to reveal enrolling type. We'll just hit next to see enroll WL device, and then hit OK. We'll see set sensitivity, and the way it comes from the factory is fine, so we'll just hit OK twice to reveal zone number blank blank. Again, this will be zone 4, for example, so we'll need to hit next until we see zone 4. When we see zone 4, we'll hit the OK button to reveal transmit now on display. And now it's time to remove the motion detector from its box to send the signal. Wave it around, cause the signal to be transmitted, and place it right back in the box until it's time to mount. Now that we have it enrolled, let's define the zone so it works properly. Um, we'll be hitting the away key, and then next, until we see defined zones. Once you see defined zones on display, we'll hit OK. And since this is zone 4, we'll hit next, until we see zone 4, and then OK. First thing I'll see is zone 4 type. I'll hit OK. Motion detectors are normally uh, programmed as zone type interfollow. That means it will automatically bypass when you arm your system in the home mode. So let me hit next until I see interfollow on display, and then I'll hit OK twice to save it. The name of this device, for example, it will be mounted in the living room. So I see name on display, I'll hit OK. And then I'll hit next until I see living room. I have living room on display. I'll hit OK twice to save it to reveal chime. Motion detectors, I usually turn the chime mode off. So I'll hit OK. And I see zone name chime. I'll need to hit next until I see chime off. And then I can hit OK twice, saving it. So now that we're done programming the zone type, we can exit the programming mode by hitting away and then OK. And now it's time to mount the motion detector. And a couple of things to keep in mind. 
the motion detector has a battery saver feature built in, which will limit its signaling to once every two and a half minutes. So prior to testing your alarm system after you've mounted it, cover each motion that's in the home with a towel or a hat so that it cannot see any movement prior to two and a half minutes prior to your test. And that will allow for smoother testing. Uh, you may also slip the motion detector into the walk test mode, which bypasses the battery saver feature. To do that, you just open the cover and close the cover, and that will cause the walk test mode to be activated for a limited amount of transmissions. It will also slip back into the battery saver mode on its own to extend the battery life of that detector. That completes our programming of the K9-85 MCW motion detector.